five years ago, I had an encounter with, with Jesus. It was a personal experience with Jesus. Changed me from wanting to commit suicide to like a completely different person in one night. Yeah, yeah like when you, when you hear the name of Jesus, what do you think about? About the Christ, about uh, Christian people. And what about like Christianity in specific? But I don't know, actually, I'm Jew, so... Yeah, me know. too. Okay. Yeah, I'm Jewish. What do you think about when you uh, hear the name of Jesus? I know it has a lot to do with Judaism, and they actually grew from the same place, wow. maybe. And uh, I can I can understand. I mean, with the Nazareth, Nazareth, it connects to to Judaism to me. Yeah, not bit. too many people know that, so yeah. that's pretty impressive. Did you know that the the Tanakh, the uh, Old Testament, talks about a savior? Yeah. And there was many prophecies in the Old Testament about the Savior, the timing, the way He was to come. In Isaiah 53, have you ever read the Tanakh? Isaiah 53 talks about the, uh, the, the servant of the Lord who will be wounded for our sins. Yeah. And by His punishment, we're healed. Yeah, that's where I lose them. Yeah, how come? A little bit. Uh, it's a weird idea you have to sacrifice a lamb to get God to forgive you. But I can see I can see the value. I don't understand the to the yeah, sal salvation. So. Right, right. It's so too... Yeah, so God is holy, yes? Meaning without sin. Some people All right. believe that. I don't know. Yeah, so let's say God is holy without sin. All right. And in order to be in his presence, you have to be without sin. Right? He can he, he we are his creation. He loves us. But when we sin, we what sin. Is a sin though? What is a sin? Great, that's a great question. A sin is a breaking of a, a, the rules, of the... The rules or, or, or the commands of God. So if let's say we, we lie and we cheat and we steal and we commit adultery and all these things, it's not just committing a sin against or what's wrong against the other person. It's also committing a sin against the one who created us so that we don't abuse his creation mm -hmm. and we respect his law. So it's like I have three children. And my wife and I, we run the house and we love our children to death. We love them so much, but we have rules in the house and we have to keep things running. And if they decide everything they want to do and if they go against what we, then everything falls apart and everything goes bad. And so we have to keep them in order. But how do you treat them when they do something Yes, bad? with loving, loving discipline. So they never, ever think that we don't love them, ever. But they know they've done something wrong. And so we, and we also forgive them because we tell them that we make mistakes too. And we also apologize when we make a mistake. So they, we, they recognize in us our failures and our flaws. And so it allows them to be more open about, about theirs. But, but sin is basically a transgression against God's commands. So the question was, when you hear the name of Jesus, what do you think about? And you, you answered, it was really a very intelligent answer. So I believe that that he, he fulfilled the prophecy and he came right on time. He died for our sins to be the replacement so that we don't have to die. And then he rose from the dead and defeated death. And to show us that, that by faith in him, we can also defeat death and live forever in the presence of God. Do you think there's an afterlife? Something after this? Maybe, but not in the Catholic way. Oh yeah, I'm not Catholic. Okay, because yeah. it seems like you really Believe it? I do. Like, I absolutely do. because yeah, I had, five years ago I had an encounter with with Jesus. It was a personal experience with Jesus. Changed me from wanting to commit suicide to like a completely different person in one night. And I didn't do the change. I wasn't expecting it. And then I decided I don't want to believe this just because I, I feel it. I want to study. So I studied the Tanakh and the Brit Hadasha and I found him there and I saw what happened to me in it. So like the scripture backed up my experience. Yeah. And since I, the more I study the, the, uh, the scriptures, the more I believe. Okay, it's so, nice. Yeah. Thank you for your participation. Thank you. Yeah, it was really, really wonderful talking with you.